Hi everybody, I'm Alex and welcome to Storytime. Today I have all kinds of great stories for you, and this time they're all about music, which is one of the best things in the whole world. Before we get into it though, I do want to do a couple of things. For starters, I'd like to introduce you to my buddy Buster, who's here, like usual, to keep me company. Also, I want to let you know that if you like story times, we have so many great story times in ADL TV, and you should take a look. Also, if you're looking for something to do, we have all kinds of great kids' craft projects, and you should take a look at those as well. Also, if you like kids' programming, we have The Saturday Show, which is always on a theme and always excellent. Okay, I think we've covered our bases, and I think it's time to do a hello song. Because you can't have a good story time without a good hello song, isn't that right? Right. A one, two, three. different languages in the world, and so many different ways to say hello. For example, did you know, in France they say bonjour. Let's try that one next. Bonjour, friends. Bonjour, friends. Bonjour, friends. I'd like to say bonjour. Can we say hello today? You know, I hear in Thailand they say Sawat Di. Let's try that one too. Sawat Di, friends. Sawat Di, friends. Sawat Di, friends. I'd like to say Sawat Di. How else can we say hello today? We can do my favorite, which is how you say hello in Hawaiian. You would say aloha. Let's try that one next. Aloha, friends. Aloha, friends. Aloha, friends. I like to say aloha. Back to hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I'd like to say hello. What fun. Now it's time for a finger exercise and a rhyme. I brought my fingers with me today. How about you? Oh, you did. That's good. We're going to do two little blackbirds, and like usual, I'm going to use my index fingers. My first fingers like this. All right. A one, two, three. Two little blackbirds sitting on a tree. One named Stan, and the other named Lee. Fly away, Stan. Fly away, Lee. Come back, Stan. Come back, Lee. Okay, let's try a different version this time. Two little blackbirds sitting on a car. One was near, and the other was far. Fly away near, fly away far. Come back near, come back far. Okay, let's do one more version. Two little blackbirds sitting on the ice. One was mean, and the other was nice. Fly away, mean. Fly away, nice. Come back, mean. Come back, nice. All right, now it's time for a story. The biggest mistake Poco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before.
like the slingshot and the llama and the balloon. But the drum was the biggest mistake. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What, said her mother? The drum is too loud. I can't hear you. The drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. The next day, her father said, Poco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? But don't make too much noise. We're just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom, and we don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Poco agreed, and she set out as quietly as she could. It had just rained, and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. and it was very quiet. Too quiet. Poco started tapping on her drum just to keep herself company, but something stirred behind her. A raccoon playing a banjo started following her, so Poco hit her drum louder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following them. But Poco kept playing her drum. And then a wolf, who couldn't really play anything, but was very happy to be near the music, joined in. And Poco still played her drum. But then the wolf ate the rabbit, and Poco stopped playing her drum, and faced the wolf and said, no more eating band members, or you're out of the band. I'm sorry, said the wolf, and he meant it. And then they all started playing again, and soon there was a crowd of animals playing instruments. And a crowd of animals following them around, enjoying the music. and they were all following Poco. Poco, your dinner is ready, shouted her father. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. And the music grew louder. And louder. until the crowd swept through the house and carried Poco's parents off into the woods. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said his mother. I think that's Poco down in the front, said her father. And you know what? What, said her mother, who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. And no one could hear what he was saying. But if they could, they all would have agreed. The end. Well, it's time for another song. And this time, I think we should do the pirate song because I love it. All right, a one, two, three. When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea.
When I was four, I shut the door on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I danced and jived on the day I went to sea. I climbed aboard a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, Oh, you'll go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Next we have Rum Pum Pum, which is the story of a tiger, a very mysterious something, and a journey the two of them start together. Now, once upon a time, there was a very beautiful, but very ferocious looking tiger, with long sharp teeth, long sharp claws, and a long swishing tail. Now, Tiger had all of those wonderful things, but unfortunately Tiger did not have any friends. Every day, Tiger would walk through the jungle, and every creature he would meet, he would say, Rrr, which in Tiger talk means, will you be my friend? But every single time, the other animal would run away. Now, it's hard to tell if they would run away because of his long, sharp teeth, or his long, sharp claws, or that swishing tail, or because of the fact that he was always growling at people. But in any event, the end was always the same. That is, until one day, when Tiger was wandering through the jungle, and he came across a very strange something. Tiger had never seen anything like it before, so Tiger decided he was going to explore. He came up to the strange something and he bumped it with his nose, and he even gave it a little bit of a lick, and he even chewed on the edge of it with his teeth. And then, very accidentally, Tiger tapped the strange something with his tail, and it went around the tongue. Well, Tiger was so surprised and so happy to come across something that he could talk to, and even come up close to, and it would not run away. So Tiger decided that he had made a very good new friend, and very gingerly picked it up with his teeth and walked along and walked along, and walked along through the jungle. After a while, Tiger and his new friend came across an old monkey high up in a mango tree. Tiger looked at monkey and said, Rrr, which means, will you be my friend? And he tapped his other friend, and it went, Arum, pum, pum. But monkey looked down at them and said, Chee, 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 which in monkey talk means, today is indeed a fine day for a walk, and I will come along with you although I will stay high up in the trees as much as I can, because you cannot get to be that old and a monkey without being a little bit wise, a little bit clever, and extraordinarily cautious. So the three of them set along and along and along through the jungle, with monkeys swinging through the trees and Tiger and his friend walking below. After a while, the three of them came across a very grumpy rhinoceros eating some grass near the path. Tiger looked at rhinoceros and said, Rrr. And the monkey said, chee, 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 and their friend said, rum, rum, rum. Well, rhinoceros had to think about it for a minute, because unfortunately, rhinoceroses are not very bright. But after a while, it decided it was in fact going to go along. It said, Rrr, which in rhino talk means, today is indeed a fine day for a walk. So they all went along and went along and went along through the jungle, with tiger saying, Rrr, and monkey saying, chee, chee, chee. And Rhino saying, and the, the, the new friend going, rum, rum, rum. Well, after a while, they came across a parrot who was sitting high up in a tree. Tiger said, to the parrot. And the monkey said, chee, chee, chee. And the rhinoceros said, and their friend said, rum, rum, rum. Well, the parrot looked down at them and said, which in Parrot means, I am actually quite busy today, but this looks like fun, so I will come along with you. So they all went along and along and along through the jungle, with the tiger saying, Rrr, and the monkey saying, Chee, 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 and the rhino saying, Rrr, and the parrot saying, Skrrr, and their friend saying, Rum, rum, rum. Well, after a while, they came across a baggy kneed old elephant, sunning itself in an open patch in the jungle. The tiger looked up at the elephant and said, Rrr. and the monkey said, chee, 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 and the rhinoceros said, Rrr. and the parrot said, Skrrr. and they all looked at the elephant, and the elephant thought for a minute, and then said, Rrr. which in elephant talk means, today is in fact a fine day for a walk, and I will come along with you. So they all went along and along and along through the jungle, with the tiger saying, Rrr. 
and the the monkey saying cheek cheek cheek, and the rhino saying whoa, and the parrot saying whoa, and the elephant saying whoa, and all was well until they came to a point in the road where they decided to take a little break. Well, they all sat down for a minute, and all of a sudden, the monkey said, Why is it, Tiger, that you get to carry our friend? And Tiger said, Because I found it first, and tapped it with his tail, and it went rum rum. Well, all of the other animals thought that this was incredibly unfair, and they started squawking and cheeping and trumpeting and bellowing with, amongst each other, and they made such a ruckus that what should happen? A little boy came through the jungle to see what all of that noise was about. Well, they were fighting so hard that they did not even see the little boy, and they did not see the little boy come up and pick their friend up and put it in his lap. And he said, suddenly getting all the other animals' attention, he said, Look at you, drum! Look, the animals found you! I was so worried. And the other animals all said, oh, It's our friend. That is what our friend is. It is a drum, and now we have a word to go with it. So the little boy, having the drum in his, in his lap, started at first to tap it, and to pet it, and to thump it, and, to it, and so on and so forth. And slowly he started to tell the story, he and the drum of a lonely tiger and a bunch of other animals and a drum as they made their way collecting friends through the forest. And then, as the animals listened, they realized, in fact, they all were friends and they would be friends forever. And when the, the story was finally done, the, anim the animals looked at the boy and said, please, tell us the story again. And he did. And he tapped and he patted and he pumped pum pum his drum until the sun set and all the animals slowly fell asleep and dreamed of the friendship they had together. And the little boy and his drum went a rum pum pum back to their home, and all lived happily ever after. The end. All right, you kids, it's time for another song, and this time we're going to do the Grand Old Duke of York. All right, a one, two, three. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Now, the best part of this song is that you can sing it over and over again. And each time you sing it, you can go just a little bit faster. Let's give it a go. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So, that was pretty fast, but we can go faster than that, right? Right. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched from the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So that was pretty fast, but I bet we could go even super more blindingly lightning fast. Let's give it a try. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched from the top of the hill, he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Oh, man, you guys, that was so fast. But anyway, it's time for another story. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone is playing solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone, no more alone, and one and two-o, -oh, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled. Golden yellow, it joins its fellows. Two, now three-o, -oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello, neck extended, bows a hello, end pin set upon the floor, it makes up a quartet, that's four. And soaring high and moving in, with zin zin zin, a violin, stroking strings that come alive, now quintet, let's count them, five.
flute that sends our soul a shiver, flute that slender silver sliver, a place among it the set it picks to make a young sextet that's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet, it's number seven, now septet. Gleeful, bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing double reading, Oma, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet, that's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays dot low down, we're laughing soon. Here, grumpy, get your place in line, and give us a nonette, that's nine. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others then, behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage, we see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet. The trumpet, who we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready. Let's begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly. The music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come out and play once more. And that would give us a great delight before we say a late good night. The end. All right, you kids, we have time for just one last song. And like usual, we're gonna sing Knees Up Mother Brown. And also like usual, we have the ridiculous, the bilious, the downright meticulous Ma Brown to help us sing. Or at very least, she can dance while we sing. Isn't that right, Ma Brown? Yeah, that's right. Okay, a one, two, three. Oh, there was a girl from Paris, France, who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown, knees up Mother Brown, knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up Mother Brown. Oh, we had some songs about music today, and all of it was acoustic, hooray. The only thing that we could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Oh, there was a teeny tiny man who liked to do handstands. You ready, Ma Brown? All right, let's give it a go. One, two, three. Four, five, oh, well, we made it to five. The only thing that he could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown, knees up Mother Brown, knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up, knees up Mother Brown. Okay, one last time. Oh, there was a girl from Paris, France, who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. All right, we'll see you next time.